In 1985, I had been taking piano lessons for a few years from a lady at our church, and her sons were in a rock band. And one night they had, uh, I guess, the whole church youth group over for for a dinner and and um, movie night, whatever. And somehow we all ended up down in their basement where all this rock band's gear was set up. And man, it was the typical dark, mysterious basement. And uh, you know there were drums and guitars, just gear everywhere. And right in the middle of it were two synthesizers on a stand, a DX7 and a Prophet 5. And I think that her sons recognized uh, something in me that they knew they knew I was drawn to this stuff, and so they just kind of turned everything on and they let me loose for a while. It, it 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 was probably only an hour, but it felt like an eternity. And I just got lost in these two keyboards and it was the first time I really had uh, a chance to play and experiment with synthesizers and it just it was one of those seminal moments you know that where, where everything changes and you realize this is going to have something to do with my life and here we are you know um, 40 years later whatever it is and um, it, the Prophet 5 is right by my side and it's one of the most important synths in my studio it's something i'll never get rid of it's it's an icon and um so when i heard tonight about the passing of dave smith uh it it hit hard you know dave was a pioneer he the prophet five for those of you who don't know it was a game-changing instrument it was the first commercially available synthesizer with patch memory and uh, it was polyphonic. You could play more than one note at a time. You could play chords. This was unheard of. And, um, you know, so, so that changed everything. You heard the Prophet 5 uh, for, for several years in all kinds of pop songs. Um, and then in 1983, you know, he, Dave was one of the chief architects of the MIDI protocol, which we've all used for decades. It's, it's what, you know, it's the backbone of how music technology communicates with each other keyboards and computers and drum machines and all this kind of stuff so the music world owes a huge debt of gratitude to dave smith and uh dave i hope somehow you can hear this uh there's a lot of people who are uh mourning your loss um this was obviously a shock it was very unexpected uh, but i just wanted to take a moment to to acknowledge that so much of the music that formed the, the foundation of my life and my career path, uh, all that music was was heavily influenced by you, by the Prophet Five and and you know other instruments of yours and MIDI and and um, it, it just just this comes at a crazy time. You know, you've been in the synth news the last couple of weeks because of your work with Tom Oberheim, the, the upcoming OBX8 can't wait to have my hands on that thing and um you know when it shows up i'll be taking a moment of silence to honor you and and um so yeah i, I know that you know there's countless other people uh processing this in their own way and and uh yeah it, it, the music world is um we're we're thinking of you and and i'm certainly praying for your family and and sequential uh, and employees and their families you know you've touched a lot of lives and and what a gift um to be able to say that so anyway don't want to be over dramatic but i just wanted to take a few minutes and uh honor the legacy of somebody who has really had uh you know a big impact so dave here's to you thank you so much and uh cheers <laughs>